Is it possible to time travel? Well, the answer to that question depends on where you want to go. For example, if you wanted to travel back in time, to do that you'd need to travel faster than the speed of light, which is something the universe forbids. And one of the ways the universe enforces that rule is through an equation called E equals mc squared, which tells us that energy has mass. Now, this means because you and I have mass, when we move faster, we become heavier. So if you wish to move even faster, you need even more energy. So for us to reach the speed of light, we would require an infinite amount of energy, let alone exceed it. So I'm afraid traveling back in time just isn't possible. But what about the future? Well, interestingly, the rate that time passes changes in different parts of the universe, and that's all because of gravity. Time passes slower in a gravitational field. Now, this has quite profound consequences. For example, the Earth's gravity is strongest at the center of the planet. So that means that our heads are aging quicker than our feet because our feet are closer to the center of the Earth. But if we increase that distance to where the satellites are orbiting the Earth, the effect becomes even stronger. So the clocks on the GPS satellites have to be constantly readjusted to match Earth's time, because otherwise we would be miles off of course when using our maps. But what if we expanded that distance even further? What if we travelled to the centre of the Milky Way galaxy where resides a supermassive black hole whose gravitational field is millions of times stronger than the Earth's? Well, if you stood at the event horizon for just one minute, 700 years would have passed on Earth. So that is how you get your one-way ticket to the future.